Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies, episode 7. Now, today's episode is all about bees. These nuts. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Now guys, in FTB Skies, to get bees, you either wait for an event to happen, which is the loot bee. My dog stepped on a bee. And then just tame the bee. Or you can actually make a beehive and just get a bee spawn egg. Now because I did tame a, a few bees, I've got some honeycombs. And we actually need a ton of honeycombs. Because we're gonna make them into honey treats. Now the best way to make those, I assume, would be the bottler. The bottler is easy to make. Now the first thing you need is some smooth stone. I believe this will do, yeah. Smooth stone, which is basically stone smelted again. Or you can use a chisel. Alright, and then we need a smooth stone slab. And then, I believe it's glass and iron. Yeah, one piece of glass and iron. And that's how you get the bottler. Now this should give you 16 honey treats, which is amazing, and a few other rewards. Next thing you will need is a centrifuge, which needs a grindstone and iron. Noise. However, we are going to upgrade this centrifuge to a powered one, which is easily made if you have a few basic materials, like so. Perfection. Now we can connect the powered centrifuge to some power, and then input the honeycombs, which will make us some liquid honey, as well as wax. But wax is not uh, that useful. Not useful at all, actually. Then. The honey we're going to pump into the bottler with a fluid pipe. And if you use a honeycomb, it just produces honey treats. And I think it needs 250. So quarter of a bucket. All right. Well, this will take some time unless we use the time in a bottle, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh my God. So guys, I've made a few nests. So guys, nests are needed to attract bees. You right click with a honey treat and you just wait until the bee comes. Now, you need to place the nests in a specific biome, but uh, I guess that does not apply to FTB skies. I could just get them all in one place. And I just want to test them out. That's a stone nest. Let's also see if we can... Yes, we can. That's amazing. So we should have digger bee. All right. So how do we get it out? I'm not sure actually. All right. Let's see if the glowstone one works. All right. This worked too. So we don't have to be in the dimension. That's kind of weird. Usually you need to be in the dimension. All right. We got an ender bee. Noise. How do we get them out? One of them is out, guys. Let's catch it. Huh? Huh. Noise. Ender bee. Very nice. Wait, what? Wait, what? Where did they go? They just disappeared. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Guys, I'm catching so many. All right, guys, progress report. I'm just getting all the bees I can. Uh, I had 31 hours. Now I only have 22. But anyways, we've got some bees. We've got uh, draconic bees from obsidian, ender bees from endstone, ashy mining and chocolate mining bees from sand, glowing bees from glowstone, mason and digger bees from stone nest, and then green carpenter, carpenter, carpenter. Oh my God. Well, you know what I want to say. From the birch nest. Now we want all of these. As you can see, we got another green one, green carpenter, resin, blue. We'll just wait for them to come out. Maybe sleep. Yeah, let's sleep. Let's see if it oops. There you go. That's one. And that's two. Perfection. Now we catch them in sturdy bee cages. Or just bee cages, I believe. But we've got the sturdy ones from the actually we got both from the beekeepers. Right, so they are all gone i believe if we pick up the block yep there they are right guys and one of the quests oh yeah this one the first one gives you a snow nest perfect and this one gives you a quartz nest and a never gold nest amazing amazing so basically if you do the quests you actually get a lot of useful nests that you don't have to make on your own. Let's get them started. I'm not wasting any more time because, yeah, we're running quite low. All right, guys, I think we got them almost all. Like, we did get a lot of different bees. We got the gold bee from the Nevergold 
nest, we got a crystalline bee from the quartz nest, we got a sweat bee from the snow nest, and yeah, just a bunch of different bees, just a bunch of different bees. So the next thing I want to make is the breeding chamber. Now we need a flower. Oh, we need a rose bush. How the hell do we get a rose bush? Oh, Jesus. Right. Well, I want to test it out if we can actually get it with a poppy instead of a rose bush. I don't think so, but we need to test it out. First thing first, we need four honeycomb blocks. Then we need a honey tree, some sticks, three emeralds, and a diamond. Perfection. Now we need some honey blocks, like so, and four flowers to get a bobby or baby upgrade base nice and then 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 all right let's use our thingamabob yeah we need rose bushes how do we get that we need an alchemy catalyst okay i don't think i kept my mana pool anywhere yep i definitely didn't all right guys well i have two black lotus now i believe if we use them maybe right click left click wait what let's see i think it needs some mana the mana pool yeah it needed some mana right i think we can actually do it let me yeah disable the shaders so we can see the mana right we needed one of those and then 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 we need the alchemy catalyst come on game i know we can do it all right and this goes under the mana pool do we have a sunflower nope Nope. Oh, cornflower. Nice. Perfection. Now, very nice. Very nice. Absolutely amazing. Oh, by the way, 20k emeralds. Jesus. So, breathing chamber. Then we got all we need. Yes. Now, this needs power. So, let's connect it to power. And then, let's see. Well, actually, let's test. I think that makes something. Lumber bee. Well, we can do it, but we get one here. Anyways, let's do that. I think we just place a sturdy nest. Start the bee cage. Oh, and give them flowers. Hello. Oh, there you go. In about one eternity later, we get the lumber bee. All right, guys, this is taking a long time, but if we get a powered centrifuge, we get four speed upgrades. And I just wanted to see can we actually. Oh my god, yes, we can. That is amazing. We got a lumber bee. All right, lumber bees. We didn't really need to be honest how about slimy bees what can we combine it with pink slimy bee huh all right all right diamond bee we need an ender bee we've got it we need a lapis bee blue banded bee we have we need the redstone bee glowing bee and chocolate mining bee all right we've got a chocolate mining bee from sand from a sand nest now let's see chocolate and glowing bee give them some flowers and a cage this should give us a redstone bee all right this is going fast enough amazing fantastic all right we got a redstone bee so the redstone bee can be combined with a blue banded bee to get a lapis bee the lapis bee needs an ender bee coming from an end stone nest ender bee lapis a cage two flowers and let's get this up to time 16 and we should get a diamond bee Moist. Now, if we breed a diamond bee and a slimy bee, that is going to provide us with an emerald bee. Very nice. Right. The next thing I want to test out is if we free a bee. Oh my God, it's so small. That's what she said. <laughs> what is that? The, a baby bee? That is a baby bee. Let's catch it before it goes. I see. So all those babies, of course. They are children. Oh no. We need another thing then. We need another thing. The baby, baby incubator. Let's uh, actually make that. All right. Very nice. Let's connect them to the power. And what does it need? It needs honey treats. All right. Wait, it needs 20. Jesus, that's a lot. Well, that is going faster. All right. So. If I free up the diamond bee and click it, oh, perfect, and it converts. This is now an ancient bee which produces neverite. Now, diamond bees can be converted in a few things. Amethyst, in it, crystal, fluorite, rubies, apatite, sapphire, and ancient bees. Uh, let's get an amethyst one, even though I'm not sure if we need it. <laughs> 
All right, guys, next B I needed was an iron B, which is made by using a crystalline B, an ash mining B. Now you get a few chances. You get copper, iron, and something else. But if you just, uh, hold on a second, I'll show you. I just want this iron B. Right, if I go like this, boom, there you go. You might have a tin, a copper, or an iron B. And I needed the iron one. Now the iron B can be converted into a silver B, a nickel B, a radioactive B, which is uranium, osmium, quartz enriched iron, lead, inver, zinc, and steel. And I'm guessing I'm gonna get all of them. Jesus, guys, it's getting so... So hectic, like, uh, yeah, there's too many of them. Uh, I was having trouble getting a Nomad Bee, which is needed for a few bees, like the Blazing Bee and the Silicon Bee. Right, and if you don't know how to get it, we just got one. There it is. It's growing. What you're gonna do is get some sand nests and get ashy mining bees, spawn them in, breed them, and then at one point you'll get a Nomad Bee. It basically goes into nests of other bees. And yeah, there it is. Next step, guys, is to get all the blocks or flowers that we need for each type of bee. Progress report. I'm making refined obsidian in an infusing factory. It just needed obsidian dust and some diamonds. And then I'm making refined glowstone in a osmium compressor, which is now in advanced compressing factory after two upgrades. And... Yeah, we're just going to automate the whole process with the bees, the refined glowstone and the refined obsidian. Okay, so well, we got almost everything we need. Uh, we've got the constant blend, inver blends, which will make enough blocks for us uh, for the constant in and inver bees. Now, the only thing I've got left is steel and grass bees. I think steel, I have made some steel. Hold on a sec enriched iron and we just uh, go once again and this will make steel dust which will be enough to make the blocks that we need now i need brass to make brass we actually need a mixer a create mixer we'll need a blaze burner let's actually make that can we make any iron plates no we can we need a hammer that's okay we can do that one two three four that's enough and very nice now to make a blaze you need some iron bars and a fell pumpkin. Now we got one from a quest, I believe. And you just place two iron bars and a pumpkin, a fell pumpkin, and you get a blaze. And you right click with the blaze burner and now you've got you've got the blaze inside. To make a mixer, you'll need a stripped log and you place an underside alloy on it to get an underside casing. Then you will need a whisk which needs five iron plates and an two underside alloys and a cogwheel and then you go cogwheel casing whisk and you get the mechanical mixer all right next thing can we use this all right guys well this setup didn't work <laughs> i forgot that you need a faster speed for the mixer so i set up another three water wheels with some uh, basically a big cogwheel going into a small one this is attached to a big one the big one goes into a small one attached to a big one into a small one and that is how you get uh, max speed without using uh, the motor right and now we just need to place the copper and zinc inside you need to throw it in i believe one two nice and then you just need to heat the blaze burner you can do that with a cake sorry <laughs> with you can do it with a blaze cake but you can start with some coal which is amazing now we're getting brass quite fast we'll need 48 to make five blocks all right guys let's see i've expanded the base slightly the spaceship the future spaceship now i've created uh, 15 feeding slabs which are basically blocks where you place the block that the bee needs but i'm thinking of how many we should place like i i think 40 is enough but we can go with more beehives now let's see how long is that that's 27 so yeah we might double this we might double this. Let's see. Let's say I start here and nope, no, no, no. So I'll need to go like a so, yeah, because all these will have beehives like a so, yeah, like a so, and expansion box on top, of course, like a so. Right, let me fix that. Alright guys, the next thing I want to make is some upgrades, simulator upgrades. Let's start with uh, 6. 
place roads. I see. Good thing we have so many emeralds. And we can trade with the cleric to get some blaze roots. Nice. 16 we needed, I believe. 18. Right, we needed 18. Well, let it, let's grab 5. It's okay, guys. Let's test this out on this 3. So we placed these here. Mm -hmm. And then we got 3 beehives. That can be fed 3 different uh, types of food. Now let's see. Which ones do we need the most? I'd say refined obsidian is one. Let's do that. So we go like a so, I believe. Yep. Very nice. And now, all right, all right, this works. The only thing I'm thinking about, these are all children. Maybe we should, we should grow them before. We'll see. Actually, let's test it out. I don't have many hours, but hmm. Yep, I don't think they are producing anything. That's kind of a shame. Well, the adult one, the Iron Bee adult one, seems to be doing something. It's making noises. <laughs> so I guess we need to grow all of them. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. When I mean all of them, I mean fucking all of them. Fucking shit. Jesus, that's gonna be a lot of growing to do. Well, there's only one way to do that, because I don't have so many hundred reeds. Right, so we'll need a catcher, which is easily made. Dispenser, dropper, can we do a dropper? Yes, we can. Oops, of course, we need a dispenser. Catcher, easily made, and then I already made a bobby upgrade, which is basically an upgrade base for flowers and for honeycombs, and then you just go with the bobby upgrade into a not bobby, and we will install this into the catcher so that uh, it catches only adult bees. Range. How do we make that? I see. Well, we can make that. How many upgrades does it accept? Three. Let's make three range upgrades. One, two, three. Perfection. And I don't think I will have enough for 12. Maybe I will. Oh, I did. Nice. And I need 12 blocks of iron. One, two, and three. Very nice. Now let's build the room. All right, guys. So here's my setup. I've got a chest with sturdy big cages going into a hopper, going into the catcher. Oh, hello there. Um, okay, bye. Right, and I've got an item pipe going underneath the catcher, which will collect the caught bees. Now, I've provided it with three range upgrades and a not bubby upgrade, which will catch only adult bees. And hopefully... Nobody will open this door. You might need to block this guy somehow. Maybe like a so. Hopefully this should do it. This should do it. Right. And then the cod bees will go into this chest. Maybe we'll provide one chest more. But I don't think this will be enough for all of the bees that we have. Alright guys. Well, <laughs> this is kind of fun. I think the bee catcher already caught some bees. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, I'm scared to open up this door, actually. This needs to be done fast. No, 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 no. Oh, I caught one. <laughs> nice. Let's release them. Right, well, all the bees have been released. Jesus, that's a lot of bees. Oh, no. Some of them are glitching out. Oh, no. Well, guys, now we just wait, I guess. They need 20 minutes to grow. These guys are stuck inside the glass and they're out of range of the catcher. But anyways, now I've got a fading slab here with three different kind of bees. The refined obsidian ones. Oops, actually, I need to catch these. These are children. Children. These guys are adults, but they're making nothing. They're making nothing. I've wasted like four hours of time in a bottle. And they do nothing. Maybe this is packed or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm using it wrongly. I think this is the front of a beehive. But anyways, we'll see. Alright guys, so the feeding slab seems not to be working for me. So I removed everything. And yeah, let's try it the normal way. Which is, we're gonna place an oak hive and an oak expansion box. With entrance, like a soul. And then I'm gonna place... Five of the blocks that the bees need. 
I don't know why I'm placing five. Maybe one is enough. And then I'm just going to enclose it like a sono. Can they exit this way? I don't think they can. All right, let's see. All right, I can install this and place them like a so. And then just remove that and they should fly outside. Hopefully, please, please. All right, one is outside. Ah. Anyways, guys, I just made the refined obsidian by myself. It would have taken me much, much less time. Anyways, let's give them some time. They seem to be fighting for one block. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. I just saw them. They like, they were like, you know, doing things, stuff. Anyways, we'll see. Right. So this did work out. It's not too much, to be honest, but I guess it's something. All right. Well, let's set up more of those. All right, some progress reports. We've got them all set up. I've got four empty ones because I remember we needed some that needed flowers, but I don't remember which ones. Anyways, the block ones are all set up now. I just need to put in the bees. Wait, what? No, I don't want that. Right, all the centrifuges are set, guys. Oh my god, oh my god. Now they just need power. All right, hopefully one flux point is enough. Um, actually, I want it like this. Yeah, like so. And let's set an upgrade. An upgrade, an ultimate pipe upgrade. I believe I've set... Yeah, this should be... Oh, it's done. <laughs> instantaneously right right here how much is that i think we're fine i think we're fine and this should be yeah this should be gucci this should be making oh my god wait there's a chance you get to find obsidian hmm. all right all right guys what i want to do is complete the 100 buckets of honey oh can we get enough i guess we can we we did it that was easy now, do we need the honey for anything else? I don't think we do. Let's get this task cleaner. And I actually want to complete another one, another quest. Let's do it uh, right here. And that's the this one. 100k FE. 100k FE, let's do it. Easy, this should be easy. How much FE is that? 1 million, that's easy. Anyways, let's complete that as well. Do we get anything? We just get XP. Right, honey, honey, do we use honey for anything? Maybe honey blocks? Yeah, anyways, let's place a thingamabob here, a jumbo tank. Nice, for honey. Now, the items, the items. All right, guys, so I connected all the items to an ender chest painted in blue. And this ender chest is going into our storage controller into drawers i'm not sure why they look like this hold on nope still too dark anyways we've got the raw materials but i think guys the processing is going to be left for the next episode i really hope you enjoyed the episode guys and i hope to see you in the next one bye